All right, welcome to my live stream. Today I'm going to be playing uh, Nuclear Option, which is a new indie game that I saw on Twitter about, um, well, planes that can use nuclear weapons. So you can see on this title screen already, there's a mushroom cloud in the background and this plane that either presumably dropped it or saw someone else drop it. So anyways, the reason I was interested in this game is because it's an indie flight sim game, which is kind of the same space that I'm currently trying to enter with my own game development. And uh, apparently this guy has been cooking this game for a while in the background because this is already a much higher level development than anything I have. And it honestly looks like a really good game. So uh, he just released the playtest for it. And, uh, well, I was accepted. It's not like there was any kind of a barrier for entry. So now I just want to play the game and see what it's like. So I've played uh, the tutorial Taxi and Takeoff before because I wanted to just make sure the game runs and to see what it was like. But uh, I have not played any other missions so far. So this is the tutorial, apparently. Um, it is a sim light game, so that's yeah. You start in the cockpit. There's all these systems you have to work that you can see in front of you. But um, it's supposed to be playable on a standard gamepad, which is what I plan to use right now. So right now I'm using mouse look, but I can use my uh, controller as well. Okay, so this is a taxi and taking off. So. You need to start moving here, and uh, I did this earlier. I already kind of forgot what the controls are, though. All right, there's a kind of a weird control here. So uh, I'm going a bit fast for taxiing, but um, when you reach this turn, you need to brake in order to make the turn safely, and that requires you to press the Y button, which is the brake key. Uh, I think uh, putting brake on Y is really strange, but whatever. And also makes the braking feel kind of bad because it means you're either play, uh, pushing 100% brake or 0%, which just results in a very jerky movement whenever you do the braking. But whatever, that's a minor nitpick. I'm not sure why that uh, vehicle was blocking the taxiway there. It seems a bit irresponsible. Okay, but here we are on the runway, and we can now do a takeoff. Okay, so what strikes me immediately is this runway is not flat. It seems a bit unsafe to have a runway that has hills on it like that, but whatever. That was the takeoff. So that's literally the entire tutorial for, or that's what I've played so far. I don't know if there's more tutorials when you get into like combat sections or whatever, but we can continue flying here now. We have a, uh, seems to be a pretty advanced flight model here. I wonder if there's a way to get to like external views. Okay, I was trying all the F keys there, but none of that worked. Very wide shoulders, child bearing hips. But otherwise, it looks like an F 35. Oh, also, the wings are very straight for something that should probably be supersonic. But the modeling on it looks very good. I don't know if it's supposed to be a stealth aircraft. It kind of has that design language here, but we also have all these pylons on the wings and all these right angles that make a very unstealthy shape. At least as far as Art Star goes, it's looking pretty nice. I'm going full throttle. I don't know if that activates the after. No, I'm using more camera modes right now. 100% uh, throttle. I don't know if there's an afterburner that I can turn on. Okay, we're getting blackout on the HUD. Or blacking out because of the G-forces.
so far. This seems like a pretty decent plane to fly. But uh, I need to actually get into combat to have any kind of real opinion on how this game works. I'm not even sure if I have weapons that I can use right now. Oh, apparently you also have flares. I don't know how to activate. Pushing buttons are random and seeing what they do. That was not the flare button. Okay, that was the gear button. Raise gear. I said bitch and Betty told me to raise the gear. Probably went way too fast for that. I know from the various videos the developer posted that there's like a very advanced destruction model. Uh oh, what just happened? Well, oh, I think the pilot blacked out while I was making that turn. So I don't know if you can uh, like tear the gear off by going too fast. But uh, the developer showed that if you crash into the ground, all the parts will just rip off your plane. Or if you get shot, you will lose parts and that will affect how you fly. So I want to get into combat to see how that works, but I want to also get the basic controls down before I get into combat. So uh, I do not want to go digging through the option menu while in the middle of flying. Why don't we just look through the option menu without that risk? Uh, counter miniatures is B on keyboard, and that doesn't help me. Counter measures is Y. Okay. So I guess if you have the landing gear out, it's brake. But if you don't have the landing gear out, it's uh, the counter measures. So maybe we can go back and do the takeoff mission again and see if we can actually deploy, uh, deploy flares. Oh, we don't need to do that. We have a free flight mission here. Okay, apparently there's factions, which you can join either side here. Ooh, we can take off from a highway. And uh, we actually get the option to choose different aircraft now. Okay, there's two aircraft, so we have TA-30 Compass, which is what I was just flying, and the CI-22 Cricket, which uh, apparently is a turboprop in a pusher configuration. And it looks like there's two propellers there, so it's a con contra-rotating propeller. I can't see because it's a truck in the way. Yeah, it looks like there's two propellers here. No, it's just a six-bladed rotor. Okay. So uh, there's a lot of funky stuff going on with this wing geometry here. Like, I've never seen a wing that just goes upwards at 45 degrees like that. Or a tail that has the horizontal part at the top of the tail. There's a lot of funky design elements here. I wonder if uh, any of this is, like, modeled with aerodynamics. Because this wing section that goes vertical here is going to actually do stuff like, kind of like a rudder but also kind of like a wing because it's only at a, it's going to be like pushing on both the, the vertical component for lift and also like the horizontal component like a rudder that's so going to lead to a very strange flying characteristics if that's actually modeled but uh, I want to for now take off again in this TA-30 it looks like this time we can actually um we're going to have missiles on here so I can see a sidewinder so, some kind of air-to-ground missile. I really wish this would stop spinning and this truck was not in the way. I think those are Hellfire missiles on the wings in the middle here. And then something like a, a Maverick closest to the fuselage. I don't know what that is. So... Oh yeah, we can change the paint job here. So let's just get in the air and see what else we have. Oh yeah, we have AGM-68. I don't remember what designation that refers to, or what missile that designation refers to. And that's not actually a Sidewinder, it's an MMR-S3. Which, I have no idea what that is. I think it might be a Russian missile. But let's, uh, let's try it out. So we have the Y button to do brakes on the ground. Uh, this truck here 
still kind of in the way. Not actually sure where the runway is here. Oh yeah, this is a highway runway, so there's no explicit runway. Hold on. There's a very sharp bend on this side, so we should probably take off to the right. Not just from a my perspective as a player, but also as a game developer. So I have implemented uh, a flight model before, which I posted about on this channel, and also stuff like IR flares. That looks pretty good. I haven't been fired at yet, so I don't know about how the flares actually work. Oh yeah, there we go. We have a cannon. Ooh, you can see the rounds bursting in midair. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you can change weapons using the D-pad. Right on the D-pad just cycles through your available weapon. So, we get cannons. I wonder if I can fire this missile without a lock-on. Yes. Hold on. Uh, there's no HUD when you go into external view, so you don't actually know what weapons I have. So, hold on. I have cannons selected right now. So I already fired off one of these missiles. Uh, oh yeah, these are the the big missiles at the center of the fuselage. There we go. The game certainly allows us to dumb fire these missiles. I wonder if you can use that to like do a lock on after launch. Some kind of texture updated on that mountain. It looked a bit glitchy, but still kind of an interesting detail there. Okay, then. Okay, so we're out of these AGM 68s. The last one we have are these AGM 48s. I think those might be Hellfires, but I can't. I don't actually remember what a Hellfire looks like. those three. Oh, we have the Sidewinder-ish looking things right here. So uh, I fired off almost every missile on the right side of the aircraft. I've been flying very unbalanced for a while. We have, these, we have all these windmills around here. I wonder if I can hit those with a cannon. Or if that does anything. Windmill blade stopped. I can't see backwards. Yeah, we actually damaged the windmill there.
right out of cannons well probably only had like 200 or something rounds so uh, i've used up everything that we have well i could try dumb farming missiles at these windmills but that probably wouldn't work Very unlikely I'm actually going to get a hit here, but I want to see if it's at all possible. Presumably, you should be firing these with a lock on and not just randomly. Almost got hit there, that would have been pretty cool. And I missed. Pretty much no chance of me hitting that. Okay, so I want to do something like a, an emergency landing and see if like parts just come off the plane when you hit the ground. Hold on, so that brought us our airspeed down. Uh, I can't actually tell which one of these is airspeed. 320 kilometers an Stall. hour. Stall. Oh, there we go. So I have no idea how fast that is. I really only know airspeed in knots. I think that's pretty low. That's probably around 120 knots or so. So yeah, we're about to hit the ground. Okay, let's go to external view and see what happens. Stall. Stall. Left Stall. engine fire. There we go. Okay, so the cockpit got ripped off, but the camera is still following the fuselage. That means you're not controlling the pilot, you're controlling the heart of the plane. Anyways, this damage model looks really good. Like, even this uh, engine nacelle the here looks like it partially came off and is like hanging on by a thread. Oh, I can still change the engine throttle. See? You're not controlling the pilot. You're just controlling the plane directly. <laughs> oh, it's sliding along the ground here. So it can't even go uphill a little bit. There's too much friction on the ground. So, I mean, this is still an indie game. It's pretty much not even early access. You had to, like, it's still, like, in the play testing early alpha stage. So, yeah, these tiny things, like, being able to control after you crash, that's a very minor issue. But it is pretty funny to see the fuselage moving around from the cockpit's point of view. Uh, also, you can see like there's holes punched in the fuselage here. You can actually see stuff like the internal framework of the aircraft. Uh, if you look through this hole in the back here, you can see a turbine or compressor disc or something, some part of the engine. And that's the one engine that's not working. Well, this other engine is also exposed, but it's still working. Interesting. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can get into an actual mission or something. So these seem like actual missiles or actual miss missions here. I'm wondering if there's like a, just a weapons firing range miss mission. Or if there are any like targets that are available in the free flight option. Oh yeah, there's two factions here. I took off from here because there was a grassy area. I guess there's also this desert area that you could have taken off from. So we can just look at the missions here. Bridge defense. Prevent a column of vehicles from crossing the bridge to Bascali Island before neutralizing the attack at its source. So we just have to destroy vehicles crossing the bridge. Convoy attack. Fly a Biscali Defense Force TA-30 Compass on a ground attack mission. 
Use missiles and guns to destroy a Pala convoy of eight lightly defended vehicles. Okay, so lightly defended here. And these are going to be pretty easy targets for the for us. Okay, my camera started at a weird angle there. Ingress. So um, there's a mini map on the corner of the screen. Some kind of radar on the HUD. I don't know if there's a way to make this map work because the select or the home button just toggles through your viewpoints. Raise gear. Yeah, one of the countermeasures we have is a radar jammer. So I guess that's if you get fired out by a radar missile, you can use that to defend it. We also have IR flares for IR missiles. Okay, I need to look through the controls again because I don't know, I still don't know what all the buttons in the controller do. So here's the convoy vehicles. Uh, don't know how to get a lock on these vehicles. I think that white dot means that it's locked. Uh, I guess not. Uh, I got something and I accidentally dumb fired a missile. I was trying to use the cannon there. roll is kind of squirrely. Okay, I destroyed a vehicle completely on accident. Let's see if we can do something a little more controlled. Very much uh, defending themselves there. I got a blue screen on my HUD. That's worrying. Data link connection failed. So I just lost my network connection. They shot my a Wi-Fi router or something. Stall. Oh. Okay, that's alarming. Stall. Left engine fire. Stall. Okay, the entire cockpit just ripped off of the plane there. And I died. Uh, resume? That was not the correct action there. Alright, when I click resume, it just gave me this map. I don't have no idea what that means. I guess we can go back and just start the same mission again. Okay, maybe I should actually figure out what the control is to lock onto a vehicle. Target selection is X. Okay. Target cancel is B. Yeah, I was wondering what they were doing because they weren't doing anything obvious. So, X and B. We can start this mission again and see if we can actually lock on a missile before we fire it. So, one thing I haven't figured out yet is this, does this aircraft have afterburners? So it looks like it's just running a jet engine right now without so I guess if this is an attack aircraft, they just decided not to put an afterburner into it. I guess it doesn't matter because we are going decently fast right now. Oh, there are some targets or something over there. I have no idea what that is. It looks like a water treatment plane or something. I wonder if we're allowed or required to blow that up for points or something. But anyways, uh, AGM-68. Still don't see the convoy yet. 
go. Yeah, I'm pressing the X button. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. The missile is not guiding. Control set X or B. Ah, oh, there we go. I didn't even get a kill from that. But, uh, there were some lips coming onto the HUD there. I'm gonna be honest, that did not make sense. Okay, so the only way to restart is apparently to go back to the main menu and then reload the mission. And just using mouse look there. It's kind of disorienting. Yeah, it said use X or B, but I didn't get a lock on the first time I made a pass on the con button. Just ignore where it's doing. Hold on. Oh, now it paused the game. It did not do that earlier. Target select is X, and target cancel is B. There's these boxes coming up in the HUD. I don't know what this is. I don't appear to be locked onto it. Okay, revetment. That means I just blew up a bunch of like HESCO barriers. So I missed the egress point, the ingress point. And I'm going to fly through the exact center of this waypoint for the count. Uh, I wasted one of my, what is this, uh, Maverick on that uh, aircraft for Vetment. Whatever, that actually got a lock on. So I still don't understand why there are multiple target boxes appearing when I press the button. Cause doesn't appear to have launched multiple missiles. Yeah, the rotary cannon has a count of 350. And we have like six of these hellfires. So when I put it, do a strong yaw input, there's actually a slight roll. It's kind of weak though. Okay, there we go. The missile's actually guiding that time. Line breaker IFV. Okay, so I think all the vehicles in this game are fictional. I know the planes are fictional, and I've never heard of a line breaker. So I have six uh, Hellfire missiles, but I, I wonder if I can multi-launch these. Yeah, this is supposed to be like a futuristic game, so everything here is fictionalized, I guess.
be honest, the controls here are kind of messing me up because I'm expecting ace combat controls where you press B to launch missiles, but every launch button is connected to X, or connected to A. still a couple that survived. The only thing I have gun now is guns, which is going to make this a lot more difficult. Engine fire. So, okay, they hit my engine and on a fire. Oh, now it looks like it has afterburner. Uh, is there a way to use the engine extinguisher? Not very good at lining up a gun a gun shot here. And that guy was much better shot than I was, so. Taking a lot of damage here. Oh, the afterburner went out. I only have 35 shots left. So if I don't get this on the next pass, I'm just gonna have to ram the vehicle and hope that works. Engine fire. Okay, they got both my engines, and I missed. Ooh, uh, that's the sound of all of my engines going out. Stall. Ooh, I remember the eject button. Uh, I did not make it. There's no restart button. Alright, let's try to do it this time without wasting any missiles on the revetment. And uh, without getting shot at from doing a gun pass. I'm really bad about aim really bad at aiming cannons on aircraft. Like, the only way I can do it on Ace Combat is to use rudders. That doesn't really work here because of... The plane's momentum here. This is actually a very physically accurate way to control the plane's uh, rudder. Or the way their plane's rudder responds. It makes it a lot harder to aim the guns. So, when I push rudder, you can see that the, the crosshair is getting a, a dis uh, significant distance away from this velocity marker. And then when I release the rudder, the crosshair moves back towards the velocity marker. So that's uh, the stability pulling me back towards the velocity vector. That's very accurate. It's not something that's simulated in Ace Combat, but uh, it is on more advanced flight simulators. And this is an effect I want to copy on my own game. Uh, even though it's like fucking me up on aiming my guns. So, hold on. Let's try to launch these missiles without wasting any of them. So we have two locks here. Alright, we got two kills. We have six more missiles, and I think that's six more vehicles. Hopefully this will work. I was doing 
doing something wrong to me, not make it locked on. Here we go. There, oh my god. Control's locked. Uh, okay, that's a hell of a way to finish the mission. The game just locked me out of flying the aircraft and then forced me to crash into the ground. So far, the the feels like a pretty decent uh, flight sim. The controls and the simulation is much more advanced than something like Ace Combat, which is the reference. Uh, it's certainly the flight sim game I played the most, and it's barely a simulator because it's just a straight up arcade game. But um, like you get the stability from the rudders and the vertical stabilizers, which pulls the pulls your direction back towards the velocity vector. Yeah, I got stalls whenever I lost engine power and then pulled up too quickly. And uh, overall, it seems like a pretty decent flight model. When I got shot by the convoy, sh uh, it shut down my engines. I didn't really see any other damage occurring, other than when the cockpit ripped off. I'm not sure if that was from damage or just from aerodynamic stress or something. So I want to see more about how the damage model works here, but... See, there was convoy attack. That's what I did. Uh, bridge defense. Prevent a column of vehicles from crossing the bridge before neutralizing the attack at its source. So apparently, it's going to be two separate targets that we need to take out here. Oh, this is a different aircraft now. Oh yeah, this is the weird. Weird aircraft here. Like, there's a goal wing and then reverse goal wing. You got this double boom tail with a vertical stabilizer at the top and a pusher prop. This is such a strange design. We have these pods here, which um, mounted these missiles. Um, according to this stuff at the top, I also have 12.7 millimeter machine guns. I don't see where those are. I see a bunch of missiles being mounted here, but I don't see the machine guns. Okay, what the hell? Why are there ground vehicles being routed onto this taxiway? Are they going to hit me? They seem to be pretty good at not hitting me, but that's kind of uh, worrying. Yeah, now the ground vehicles are blocking me from taking off, so this is uh, extremely inconvenient, but I'm... I'm still busy here trying to examine my plane to see where these mis or where these machine guns are. So we have this like sensor package in the nose. We have six missiles on the wings and then two missiles on these pylons. I don't see the machine guns though. Oh yeah, even without those vehicles passing by me, there's still these two vehicles right in front of me. That seems kind of uh, a very bad way to run an, air an airport, even though this is like a impromptu airport, an ad hoc airport. Pretty irresponsible of the ground controller to allow these vehicles here. Our aircraft design. But I'll try to work with it. Okay, so I'm gonna imagine that if I try to fire from an off angle, it's just gonna hit the bridge cables. Missile alert. Oh. Firing missiles at me. Uh, I don't know if I dodged it. Oh, I think I got no hits from those missiles. Oh, I got one. No. That was a friendly line breaker destroying the other friendly line. Missile alert. Oh, 
Ooh. I tried to flare off the missile, but it did not work. Uh, absolutely toasted my aircraft here. Uh, looks like that part came off the stabilizer tail. It's just kind of hanging on. Stop. Yeah, there we go. Kind of annoyed there's no restart button. Yeah, even at the start of this mission, there's all these plane or all these ground vehicles in front of me. This guy's crossing the runway. And so is this guy. How am I supposed to take off? There's all these vehicles here. I wonder if I can take off from the ground on the side here. Nope, oh, nope. That broke something. Okay, the nose came off, and some other propellers hit the ground. Come on, that should have been a perfectly safe way to take off. Okay, but seriously, how am I supposed to take off whenever there's all these vehicles crossing in front of me? can't even shoot at them. Stupid safety interlock prevents me from shooting while on the ground. There we go. That's what you get for crossing an active runway. I should definitely have the priority here because I am the more expensive vehicle. Yeah, this missile truck or this missile carrier in front of me just uh, did donuts on the highway. See, they're just gloating about how they know they're blocking me. That guy cut right in front of me. That was intentional. Oh my god, the pilot survived that. Look, he's just standing on top of the wreckage. So do I really need to wait like two minutes for all these vehicles to pass before I can take off?
Okay, I'm back now. All right, let's just restart this mission. So again, this the main challenge for this mission seems to be taking off because there's just traffic being routed onto your runway. And uh, I guess this is a good way to show off the game's vehicle driving system because they, they do avoid you when you're parked. But it's uh, just kind of annoying that there's no way to take off before all these vehicles show up. Like, even if there's a gap between the vehicles here, there is just... You have to go so much faster than them that you're not going to be able to take off without crashing into them. Look at that, they're taking up both lanes of the highway. So I can't even take off on one side or the other. Oh, that guy in the back is doing some off-roading stuff. Yeah, he seems a little bit lost. You know, I bet if these guys had horns, they would be honking at me. Because they think they own the road. See, now there's nothing behind me, so I could take off backwards. Just stuff in front of me. So I guess the developer wanted to show off uh, all of his crown, like crown vehicle avoidance. So, boy, does that make this mission very tedious to restart? to not turn so quickly right after taking off because I almost stalled it right there. Now this thing is slow, you know, 300 kilometers an hour. It's like 150 knots. Or is it, uh, I don't remember the conversion of that. Yeah, I don't even have like a target yet. Oh, there we go. So, I can actually see it on the TV down here, so I can fire a missile and see if that actually hits it. And so, lofted into the air. Nice detail. Uh, they just fired something at me, but it apparently wasn't a locked, wasn't a locked missile. Uh, I think missile the alert. missile did nothing there. Okay, they fired one missile back, and I don't know if that hit. Well... It might have hit, like, the bridge supports again. So I think the only way to get a good missile shot off is to go directly missile down the line to the bridge. Oh, nope. that's not here. Missile alert. Missile alert. Okay, that was all of my flares, actually, so not missile out. Alert. I finally did not make that ejection. Yeah, I ejected straight downwards there, so uh, it's a very bad day for him. Okay, so again, the main challenge of this mission is taking off before all these people show up. Like, even if I go full throttle immediately, this guy just does donuts in front of me. That just wrecked my plane. So I took off the nose and landing gear and a wrecked propeller. So, just trying to take off by forcing my way through the convoy doesn't work. It seems like really the only option here is to just wait for every vehicle to pass.
There's a munitions truck on the highway, which is available for rearming. I guess that truck parked on the side of the road is for rearming whenever you, you are able to successfully land the end. They were zigzagging across the highway, which just makes this really difficult to take off. Yeah, because this guy on the left side of the road is blocking them. The guy who just passed me on the right. Okay, that was unnecessary. I think I actually have a decent takeoff roll now. Absolutely bizarre way to start the mission, though. One missile there. Oh, that was a, kind of a far shot. Missile it like locked onto the last vehicle in the convoy. Okay, again, it's locking onto the last vehicles in the convoy. Which is kind of not what I want. But at least I have a missile shot. sure where any of those missiles are going. It looked like my missile just disappeared in mid-air there, so it probably hit a breach support. Missile alert. It's a very awkward angle to fight from. I have to shoot down the bridge, but missile not hit alert. the like, support columns. And also, I'm out of the big missiles. I'm down to the health items. a combat vehicle, so that's not Missile helpful. Alert. Okay, one of their tanks just took out one of their IFVs. Oh, I see a missile flying towards me. launched some of those missiles while I was actually lined up and looking down the bridge. So if I need to get like closer, like inside of these uh, columns and with the fire at them, it's going to be a lot more difficult. And also, now the only thing I have left are these cannons. These aren't even cannons, these are just 50 cals. Like, they don't even have explosive pieces. Okay, so I'm all out of missiles. I guess I can try landing. Okay, it looks like there's, again, several vehicles on the road. Yeah, 
It is a very fascinating speed. These are very powerful brakes, though. So I just locked onto a friendly vehicle there. I don't know if that's uh, useful. Oh, there's some other friendly plane in the air and it just shot off a missile. Okay, well, it looks like the AI did all the work because they just destroyed the column. Locate and destroy the enemy's vehicle depots to prevent further attacks. Okay, uh, I don't know how to rearm here. Because it looks like the ignition supply truck. Oh, it did rearm. There's just a, no notification that it happened. So I had a rough landing earlier, but it looks like it Take off and uh, destroy everything. That was not a fast enough takeoff speed. More targets beyond this hill on the other side of the bridge. And uh, oh, there's a friendly aircraft over here. It looks like it's a, that's a jet aircraft, while mine is the propeller kind, so he's going a lot faster than I am. He's probably going to get there first. And someone just fired a missile at him. Oh, there's a. Why can I not lock on? Fired both missiles. For some reason, I was unable to lock onto him, so I panicked and fired two missiles at him. You know, I just took a bunch of damage too. I wonder if you can repair the damage by landing again. You know, someone is still shooting at me, and uh, this is as fast as I can go. Yeah, uh, turbo prop, turbo prop cast aircraft makes sense when you're fighting an insurgency, but this is a. Uh, a bit too high intensity for a propeller aircraft, I would say. Raise gear. No, I'm going way too fast for the gear. Burn off speed. land here and try to oh my god I almost hit that tank yeah my 
our wings all shut up from that earlier attack run. And, uh... Oh, they're rearmed. Did not repair my aircraft, though. Alright, that's gonna be a problem, because I've taken severe damage, flaps and ailerons. The entire wing is also full of holes. But I guess all the targeting equipment still works. that's in front of me. That's going to be a problem. Vehicles coming down the highway here. Hopefully, I can line up a shot through the center of the bridge. All right, I got a IV there. And one of those missile vehicles. Uh, I don't know what that rank one that just appeared on screen was. Okay, I still have six missiles here. I was hoping that one of those would target the tank, but I have no idea how to select a specific target. I'm just kind of hip firing at all these vehicles and hoping I hit something. Appears to be whatever is in the center of the cross here is what gets targeted. Or whatever this diamond shape is. Whatever's near that gets targeted. Except when the diamond's not there, I don't know what's happening. Missile alert. Very bad habit of using the rudders to steer. Okay, I want to try this again without getting my plane shot up, and maybe you can do something a little bit better. So, we're starting the mission again, now we have to wait for all these vehicles to pass. Faster. Also, 
we have a perfect shot at the bridge right here. I'm not sure what the range here is, but I'm not getting any vehicles. Maybe uh, limited by my plane sensors. Oh, they're all the way over there. That's right. I was used to taking forever to take off. Hopefully that's a good shot on two different tanks there. There we go. Uh, one of them was an IC, but that's fine. Yeah, so I got a rank Missile one. Alert. I guess that means like my performance in the mission is rank one. Trying to terrain terrain mask there, but this plane is simply not fast enough. So, uh, score of 5.6, I guess. I took out two vehicles. Okay, I really don't want to try that again because I find that plane kind of annoying to fly. So, let's do a different mission here cruise missile interception. Use the FS-12 Revoker to intercept a volley of cruise missiles launched at your base from Primiva. So, sounds like a very ace combat mission. We have to shoot down all the cruise missiles. What the heck? Okay. This is a different vehicle here. Fighter that's been made stealthy. Oh, this one actually has afterburn. Which you only get at a hundred percent throttle. This thing is like refusing to take Raise off. gear. Maybe I just needed to give it a stronger pitch command. I don't remember what the speed of sound is in kilometers per hour. So, uh, I don't think it's 700, but it's, that's kind of close. Wait, is that a friendly? No, it's an enemy. For some reason, the targeting system allows you to target friendlies and enemies. But when you do that, they look exactly the same. Yeah, I think the circle here is telling me, like, the probability of kill. But it turns out we didn't need that because this guy was not even trying to dodge. Okay, so we have actually a bunch of IR missiles, and maybe I should not have wasted it on that uh, ground attack point. Uh, I'm not sure what this does says TWR. Oh, 50 kilometers out. All this text is overlapping with each other. I can't read it. SFB81. Missile. I launched two missiles at that one missile. Seems a bit uh, confusing. I'm not sure why that's giving me 0.3 points. 
Like, why do you even have fractional points? Why not just like, multiply everything by 10? Here, this thing in front of me. Oh my god, okay. Okay, that was a nuclear missile. I was not expecting that. Got absolutely destroyed there. Okay, so that's why this game is called Nuclear Option, because... I guess the uh, nuclear weapons are going to be a major part of the game. I wasn't expecting that one to be nuclear too. Uh, some kind of missile just launched over my shoulder. I had no idea who that was. Scramble. An enemy bomber has been spotted carrying cruise missiles targeting Boscali North Air Base. Shoot the missiles down before they destroy friendly facilities. Four kilometers, this is definitely very far for a gunshot. Oh, he's actually flying away from me. I'm going way faster than him, though. I'm going Mach uh, 0.98 right now, so I can catch up to him, because he's definitely subsonic. Okay, that's really kind of distracting. Okay, I uh, missed him. up missiles without uh, wasting one of them. Oh, there's one right there. That's the one that killed me last time. Oh, I blacked out. That's not good. Thought I was about to crash into the ocean there. I find the roll to be very squirrely. Okay, so that was the only nuclear missile, because it has a special designation there. The lock does give you a lot of control over who fire over what you fire at, but seems a bit finicky as well. But overall, that does seem like a very cool way to control this. Uh, I fired five missiles. Pretty sure. I have one missile left. So I'm not sure why it's not launching. Might be I'm out of range. Okay, so, like, I think two of those missiles that I've destroyed so far were nuclear. So it looks like they're going for an attack plan where they have a few nuclear missiles and a few non-nuclear. Which is a good enough idea. I don't know what uh, indicates whether or not I'm in range. The circle is green and I still have one missile. So I'm not sure what's preventing me from launching it. I hope this is not nuclear either, because I don't think I'm going to catch it. Okay, the base defense got it. Uh, I only have one missile left, so... Not sure what... Oh my god, when did I lose that wing?
Yeah, I'm not sure when I lost that wing. That's probably why I couldn't launch a missile. Because the missile was on the pylon that got torn off. Okay, so you see that Sam Duper just launched a missile off the ground. Which then crashed into the ground and did nothing. Not really sure what the AI is thinking there. Also, he's crossing onto a runway again. Raise gear. Very annoying. Because if I delayed it, my takeoff a little bit longer, he would have just hit me. I still have both wings here, so that's not the issue. Or rather, at some point I lost the wing tip, but it's probably when I blacked out. I think I have enough missiles to take out this cricket, even if I, or I, I have enough miss, miss, missiles to complete the mission, even if I take out this cricket. There we go. I kind of wasted my gun ammo there, but I really struggled to shoot him down last time. Uh, I'm not sure if I got points for destroying that plane. Is a cruise missile, 20 kiloton nuclear. I just completely lost. Oh, there's a. I'm targeting a SAM as well. I don't know what that was, but something just took my wing off again. Okay, so it might have been that I lost that because I was maneuvering while I launched the missile, and it just the missile hit my pylon. But I didn't get a missile warning, even though I apparently there's enemy SAMs nearby. that AI firing off a missile again for no reason. Okay, so six kilometers. a very strong pitch up moment on the plane. SFB-81 Dark Reach at a range of 50 kilometers. So I guess that's the plane that launched it. That's, uh, I'm going to imagine that's well beyond the range of these IR missiles. There we go, that's a cruise missile. I don't know what that is. Okay, there's more cruise missiles at 30 kilometers. the lock.
Okay, so when the multi-lock, when you use it properly, that is very satisfying to use. But now I'm down to one cruise missile, or one IR missile, and there's two cruise missiles left. got that missile and again it locks out your control when you complete the mission so it just forced me to crash okay i want to do that again this time oh see some error messages right here okay i don't know how to get rid of this oh wait development console whatever I wonder if it's possible to actually shoot down those bombers. You know what, that ground vehicle is probably shooting at the cricket, but for some reason the missile Raise is not actually gear. connecting. I think you can see the stars through the cloud or through the clouds right here, so that's pretty interesting. You know, it looks like it's the middle of the day. Maybe it's like sun sunrise or sunset. I don't know. It does look quite nice. Okay, so there's this guy. Moving at subsonic speed. T9K41 bolt strike shot down a cricket. So you know what? That sounds like a SAM unit that possibly shot me down earlier. Okay, I failed to shoot him down again. I don't want to make another pass on that because going so much faster than him. Okay, so there's this one nuclear missile that appears here to the left slightly. It appears much later than all the other ones. Yeah, there we go, that one. Try to slot in right behind these missiles. I may as well shoot down. everything I think. There might be some other vehicles nearby. Stall. I have two missiles left. Pretty sure I shot down all the missiles that were already launched here. I don't know why I'm pitching up. Seems like a problem with the trim or whatever which I did not explicitly set anywhere, and I don't know if you can control it.
So I, maybe it's like simulating mock tuck or something because we're doing slightly subsonic here. It's giving her a very strong pitch up right now. Yeah, so this Dark Reach Bomber is now a lot closer. We're definitely closing the distance here, but he's still 20 kilometers away. Meanwhile, these SAMs are in the in the way. Oh wait. Dark Reach Bomber is actually closer. Ah, oh, someone else got him, I think. Okay, so maybe I can shoot down all the missiles in one pass, and then maybe take out the bomber as well. But I think a friendly unit took out the bomber every other time before this. So we're going to try to do this interception in one single pass, shooting down every missile and this cricket without having to loop around like last time. out of his wing, but I'm just really bad at aiming that. Okay, see, I'm not getting the pitch up anymore, so I'm not sure what the difference now is. Okay, so I'm gonna, I don't know, wait for all these missiles to appear. I'm locking onto the the very distant Sam now. Okay, that missile I think teleported over here. That leaves me with two missiles, which I can possibly use to intercept that, uh, what do you call it, Dark Shadow or something? And the bomber is 26 kilometers away, so I can definitely catch up to him. I just need to do that without getting shot down by those SAMs. The bomber is 20 and 23 kilometers now. The SAMs are 30 kilometers, so... I think I'm going to be in range of the SAMs by the time I catch up to the bomber. I do have a radar jammer though. So I'm going to try to use this radar jammer to I don't know, jam any missiles that are coming towards me. I don't actually know if uh, they're radar or IR. Um, according to this mini-map, the plane is slowly turning away from me, but I can't see it yet on the TV. What on earth is this trying to target? So I passed it. That's not good. 
Missile alert. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. Uh, the radar jammer is just like a battery that you have to manage. If something shot it down again, but it wasn't me. I want to see if I want to. I want to try doing this mission optimally. Let's say. I still find it very hard to line up gun bastards. I don't think that's a game, a problem with the game. It's still just a skill issue on my part. I hope that I did damage to him. Oh, he's not even smoking this time. At least the last few times I hit him. And like resulted in a smoke trail. Okay, there it is, the SFB-81 Dark Reach. Which I imagine is like a B-2 bomber. And it's so stealthy it's not appearing on the television. But that's still too far out, so I need to target these missiles instead. one again so I I don't even want to try to loop around I just want to try again from the start Once again, I'm getting the very strong pitch up here. And so, okay, that was definitely a mock tuck. I just could not escape that dive. So, yeah, the aircraft seems unstable, which is realistic, but kind of hard to control here. I don't know if that's like, it only happens, like, the instability only happens like a couple of times doesn't happen consistently so I'm not sure what's causing that to happen well, there's like some kind of damage occurring to my aircraft some of the time see now I'm getting a kind of a weak pitch up there to get close enough to this guy, which is like 1.5 kilometers. Okay, once again, that appeared to do no damage to him, but whatever. Okay, 
says one of those targets is 30, 30 kilometers away. I think I just targeted something that I did not want to. Oh, okay, one of them just teleported over here. Yeah, I'm not sure what I was looking at. Yeah, I think I just ripped off part of my wing there. Yeah, okay, so doing a huge maneuver with that at supersonic speeds just ripped off my wing. I want to take out this cricket, but I really don't want to do it by slowing down and by doing multiple passes on him. It means I need to get him on the first pass. Losing speed here is pretty fast. Stall. Stall. Oh, but I got him. Yeah, I'm not sure what this resume screen does besides just showing me everything that's like all the friendly assets. So, so far, I've just tried shooting down this cricket several times and failing every single time. Mostly because I cannot line up a gunshot properly. Like, this plane is surprisingly unstable, even at supersonic flight. It's like there's no uh, flight control computer to make it more stable, even slightly. So I just kind of have to wiggle around and hope that I line up a shot with the guns. That time I actually caused a smoke trail on him. Yeah, there were several times where I shot him in, like, center mass and didn't cause a smoke trail, so I'm not sure what the difference there is. But whatever. Hopefully, uh, shock and blood loss will get him. Yeah, this cruise missile will, like, teleports from 30 kilometers, there we go, to 13 kilometers. That's kind of weird. Oh, never mind, it just teleported again. Four nuclear cruise missiles there. Again, I missed these two missiles. My closing speed and like 
just the number of targets I have to figure out which ones I've already targeted. Blackout again. Okay, that's not a plane, that's a downed pilot, I guess. A friendly downed pilot, so I'm not sure who else is shooting down this bomber. ring is not showing up, so I think that means I have a low probability of kill if I fired the missile right now. But I don't think there's anyone else in the area who could shoot him down, so... I don't know who shot him down all the other times. Okay, at 8 kilometers, that should be getting close to a missile... a missile lock. see anything. Missile alert. Once again, I do not know what happened to end this mission. Okay, well I don't want to do that again. So uh, I kind of gave up on bridge defense there, but and I successfully completed convoy attack. Now we have depot strike. Okay, fly the dark reach on a bombing mission. So this time we're piloting the dark reach to destroy a Apollo vehicle depot on a heavily defended airbase. So I guess this will show off like stealth mechanics of your aircraft and allow you to like fly. Okay, I was a little disoriented there because the camera was pointing in a weird direction. It'll allow you to fly without being targeted. Where on earth is the... Okay, so it wants the taxi onto the runway first. Okay, so this is the dark beach. Yeah, this is like the cover, like the cover aircraft. a very cool design. It does look very stealthy. Again, it has that weird uh, horizontal stabilizer that's above everything else. Otherwise, I think the artist did a very good job on designing the aircraft. Of course, it does not have after. vector is still going downwards. There's a very large AOA. I'm not sure if I, to, if I was supposed to take off from the other direction there. But that seemed like way too short to actually take off from. Now, I guess the mission is not going to proceed unless I actually do it correctly. Mm -hmm. 
So maybe I should pay attention to these waypoint markers. Kind of annoying to lose the HUD. Yeah, it's annoying to lose the HUD whenever you switch into third person view. I'm not sure why it's telling me to take off over there. That looks like the short end of the runway. Oh, it, it wants me not to take off from right there, but to actually go to the end of the runway. Okay, I think it's kind of annoying. He wants me to turn into this taxiway first before taking off. Intel reports there are radar SAMs scattered throughout the surrounding valley. Stay alert for radar warnings. So this has a radar jammer and IR flares as well. Stay on guard for enemy aircraft in the area. If you spot any, let your wingmen deal with them. Okay, I did not know I had wingmen with me. Destroy depot, 40 kilometers away. I have eight bombs, which are probably precision guided, and then eight missiles as well. Oh, there's some. Okay, TA-30 and a cricket. Okay, so this is actually kind of novel for me. I've never played any game where you play as a, basically as a heavy bomber. It's certainly not something you do in most Ace Combat games. I do know that there's a segment in Assault Horizon where you play like a B-1 Lancer. But even a B-1 Lancer is like supersonic. This is, I'm going to guess, a subsonic only aircraft. So... Uh, quite a long time is going to be spent just flying to the mission point. Oh, but look at these AI go. They're actually uh, shooting down all the enemies here. Uh, looks like my own missiles are locked onto those aircraft, which is kind of wild. I wonder if you could actually score a kill like that. That aircraft just took like three missiles without dying. I'm gonna just try firing a missile at him, see what happens. Yeah, it turns out a ground attack missile is not good at shooting down aircraft. Oh, never mind. I think that was actually a hit. Except this guy just took a ground attack missile. He just tanked it. It was the the other missile that took him down. Oh, getting a radar warning over here. Missile alert. Okay, I just locked onto the missile. That's not what I wanted to do. 
Stall. 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 Oh, there's more text up here. Uh, today we're striking a vehicle depot located on the enemy's airbase. Yeah, that text in the top left corner is very hard to miss. Or very easy to miss. Okay, this is uh, definitely not how you should be taxing a real aircraft onto a runway. Luckily, there's uh, no restrictions on, on like runway etiquette here. So even though this is a, what I assume to be a stealth aircraft, I did get shot down by that radar missile pretty easily. So uh, maybe this isn't stealthy? Or maybe that radar is just good enough to see through the stealth. Okay, you would think that since this isn't uh, like a fighter aircraft, it would be designed to be stable, but it was just kind of pulling pulling downwards there. Okay, there's a radar unit that appears to be on the other side of this hill. There's a SAM unit there again on the other side of the hill. Okay, I'm getting targeted by something. Missile alert. Missile alert. Okay, there we go. That one went down in a single hit from like this Maverick. It's a very wild way to get shot down. I just dogfighted with, uh, well, I guess that's not a, I guess it's not an air superiority aircraft, but it is, it should be way better dogfighting than, alert. than when I'm flying, which is a heavy bomber. Okay, so maybe we can do a radar jammer here. We can try notching the missile. Oh, there we go, the missile lost, lost lock there. Missile alert. Left engine fire. Right stall. engine fire. Stall. 
I got seriously distracted stall. here by all these different buttons stall. that pushed to stall. Stall. change targets. Stall. 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 Yeah, so like in Ace Combat, to change targets, you just press the uh, the X button once and also select a new target. In this game, you have to, to change targets, you have to cancel your current target and then select a new target, which is uh, quite fiddly because I keep on getting it wrong. I'm not sure what happened last time, but it seems like I outran my wingmen because I arrived at that uh, to that dogfight before my wingmen did, and I, I had to do all the work. I had to shoot down that aircraft with a ground attack missile. So I don't know why these guys took so long to take off. It looks like they're not even taxiing right now. Um, I think I missed the taxi to runway waypoint, so that's very annoying. first waypoint is what I missed. Well, I can see some kind of missile in the air already. They must be firing at a different aircraft that's already over there. That's what triggers these aircraft to start taxiing. Okay, so the, the sounds for taking off is kind of strange there, because apparently it's only the sound for the wheels running on the ground. So when you actually do get wheels off the ground, the sound just stops completely, which is jarring. So uh, I don't see my wingmates anywhere behind me. The only aircraft I see nearby is this Cricket. And I wonder if I can target it here. I 
We're getting targeted by that radar on the mountain. Missile alert. Missile alert. Left engine fire. Stall. Right engine Stall. fire. All right. That time I got taken. I got shot down. Uh, again, I don't know what happened to my wingmen there. I know one time I saw them shooting down the enemy aircraft, but I don't know what happened to them those last two times. Yeah, they're just leaving me to dogfight this, uh, these fighter aircraft by myself as a bomber. I have to make sure to hit this waypoint, which confusingly goes behind me before it activates. Maybe this time, instead of just turning directly towards the target, which is to the right, I should turn to the left and just uh, climb for a while while my wingmen take off. turning towards me now. Oh no, he's turning away from me. Okay. Alright, now I have a fighter escort with me, so I shouldn't uh, get shot down immediately. My wingmen are getting into the dogfight now. I have two targets at 20 kilometers, 27 kilometers. Uh, I don't know which of any I can hit. There we go. We have the PK circle here, which is quite low right now. There appears to be a missile flying towards me. Never mind, that was someone else's missile, I guess. Ah, oh, there we go. We have clear shot to this target now. 
missile alert. Missile alert. Fire. Really annoying when I'm trying to right target the defeat on the missile. Missile alert. Stall. Stall. I don't get a solid lock on those unless I'm at a uh, high enough altitude. So I guess I need to climb more before I actually attack them. But I am flying quite low all those attempts so far. So I'm not sure if there's a way to dodge missiles besides just notching and using a radar jammer at the same time. I don't know if the radar jammer works if you're flying directly towards the missile. Oh, you know what that uh, the whooshing sound is? That's probably the like just a sound effect that's played when you fly close to terrain. I don't think it just happens when the wheels touch the ground. Okay, so this time I want to climb to a much higher altitude before actually going on the attack ground. And I'll also give my wingmen some time to take off, take off before uh, I fly into enemy territory here. We're still only a thousand meters off the ground. That's not that high. That's like three thousand feet. Although we are already above the cloud there. There's a white dot over here. It's a radar station, I guess. Is that an enemy radar station? I have no idea. I think that's friendly. It's a white dot, so I guess that's neutral. I'm getting pinged by this radar as well. Too far away to be targeted by missiles right now. Um, I don't know what the symbology for the bombs means. Yeah, this game is in early access and I just have no idea what this means. There's no, like, explanation on how to use the HUD yet. 
Okay, there's a number there that says 75. So we're at 2,000 meters right now. Uh, apparently that's not enough to actually get a good lock on this missile launcher yet. Missile alert. They have a lock on me though. dodge that missile. I did take out something. I think I took out the SAM launching it. I took a lot of damage to the left side of my plane here, so I'm now very flying very erratically. Missile alert. Right okay, engine I fire. Okay, I missile just took a bunch alert. of missile hits here. I'm out of radar jammer. Well. Missile alert. Uh, does this radar jammer recharge at any point? I'm completely gone. Stall. 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 So I have to get very close to actually launch these missiles, or I have to get up to a higher altitude before launching. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. But it seems like. They can launch from like 20 kilometers away while I have to get within 12 kilometers. does recharge slowly. Maybe just stop recharging because I drained it completely, or stop charging because I took damage to the wing, or took damage in general and that just caused it to stop charging. Like it damaged the module so I can no longer use the radar jammer. No idea. So instead of attacking from 2,000 meters, I can probably get way higher. Should actually uh, like increase the energy of the missiles, allowing them to go longer range. And then again, this says they're optically guided, so electro electro optical. Not sure what that means. And uh, we could be limited by the sensor system, not just the missile's energy. Let's just start climbing here. Yeah, see, when I was inter intercepting the Dark Reach, they were launching cruise missiles, and apparently those can go like 40 kilometers. Instead, I have these AGM-68s, which are limited to like 12 kilometers. So, uh, I have a much harder time attacking as this than I did against def than uh, they did.
let's try attacking from like four me four thousand meters in the air. Which uh at the current climb rate, 30 meters per second, it's gonna take a while to get there. We're now even further away from the depot than where we started, but we're at least at a higher altitude. You know, I think I'm getting close to minimum speed here. Okay, one of my compasses shot down the enemy compass. Okay, so these radar units are at 40 kilometers right now. I still have uh, no lock or anything. I don't know what the symbology means. There's this vertical line here, but that doesn't explain anything or tell me what this means. by radar again. Yeah, I'm very far away, so I still have no lock with these missiles. They just launched on me. Or they launched on a friendly aircraft. Oh, there we go. No, that's locked onto the wrong thing. It's interesting, but also very annoying that I can lock onto their missiles. Missile alert. Okay, now they're firing at me. Exploded very close to me. And I lost a lot of altitude from that. Stall, left engine, stall, fire. stall, stall, stall. Missile alert. Okay, I'm gonna give up on that because I'm not really sure how to even approach that. There's another mission I want to do here, which is uh, Furball. Fly the TA 30 compass in an intense dogfight. Your side is outnumbered 7 to 5. So, again, sounds like a very Ace Combat esque mission, but with realistic. Uh, Realistic uh, systems here, it's going to be a lot more difficult to have in these combats. Let's see. Uh, we have a 25mm rotary cannon and a 20mm rotary cannon. That honestly seems a little bit redundant. We only have four missiles as well, so. Even with uh, using all these missiles. Yeah, so I launched all my missiles already. Missile alert. Stall. Fire. Left engine. 
stall. Fire. Stall. 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 Yeah, so turning upwards there was not the correct move. Okay, so I find it very weird that there are two separate rotary cannons on this aircraft. Seems a bit uh, silly to have three gun pods. Okay, once again, it's very annoying that I can Missile lock on with their missiles. big bite out of that guy, but I don't know uh, if he's still capable of flying. It looks like he is. Oh, that's very jittery. Took his wing off then, so that's the end of him. Missile alert. Uh, there's like three enemies on me. Missile alert. Stall. 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 Right engine. Yeah, Stall. Like all my all my friendly aircraft got shot down there, so it was like 1v5 at the end. That's actually really close to me. I don't know where it is. Right there. The enemy aircraft crashed. Okay, so this game again is an early access, or like even earlier than early access. What the heck? Um, so I I hope that issue with the lead reticle jittering around gets fixed eventually, or soon rather, because that makes it very difficult to aim. And that's uh, compounding on on top of my own skill issue with aiming.
Okay, so two of their aircraft just shot down two of their other aircraft. Friendly, that fire there is unexpected, but welcome. You know, it's really difficult to tell which aircraft I'm aiming at. Oh, I got exploded from I don't know what. of another friendly aircraft crashed and it looks like it's just me and a cricket that are still left versus at least four enemies so that's a very hard fight Again, it's very difficult to target aircraft while also flying the plane because it's only very hard. Every is close to this diamond. So, trying to select a target while also maneuvering is very difficult. At least for me and my skill level. All the friendly aircraft start off by firing a bunch of their missiles, which looks like maybe two missiles per aircraft. Missile alert. Ooh, I got one of them. MMRS3. Okay, so I shot down a missile. That's not what I intended. The only thing I have left are these cannons. Engine fire. Okay. I could have killed off two enemies at once. Stall. Stall. So yeah, mechanically this game is very detailed, and it's uh, quite a lot more difficult than uh, like a arcade flight sim like Ace Combat. And uh, I think some parts of it are very finicky, like target selecting here. But so far, it does seem uh, like it's a very good foundation for a game here. So last time I shot down a, a, an enemy missile, which is not what I intended, so... I 
locked onto the enemies before that here. So hopefully this will be uh, better. There are no four missiles away. They haven't targeted me, me yet. Yeah, I got no hits out of that. Oh, I got one. Engine fire. Stall. Okay, so I'm not actually sure how you're really supposed to approach this because both uh, friendly and enemy aircraft can use flares, so that means it's very difficult to shoot them down when I just have launch one missile each against a bunch of aircraft. And now the sky is just filled with flares and that's going to confuse every single missile. So I just can't line up a shot on them. I think I got two hits there. And uh, he's falling apart now, so... Well, someone else got the kill registered. So I only have 145 shots on the 25 mil. the cricket there. Uh, I don't want to get into a turning fight there because I think at, since they're so slow they're probably a lot more maneuverable at that speed than I am. So I can just extend here beyond his range and now he's just chasing me but he can't get his, he can't use his gun to go too far away. Looks like there's you know one friendly aircraft versus three enemy aircraft. It's not counting me though. Like they got the last friendly, so it's just me versus three aircraft, which I cannot do, but uh, I don't even know how to shake them off.
I launched four missiles there and I got zero hits out of that. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I should be dealing with this image here. Stall. So I'm going to imagine that Stall. 20 millimeters does a lot less damage than 25. But uh, you do fire more of them, so that makes getting hits easier. Okay, I at least want to be able to shoot down one aircraft. And I, I shot down one before with the missile burst, but. Maybe like shooting them down with guns. See, there's all these flares in the air which are probably confusing the missiles. That was a waste of a missile. I locked onto my own missile there. That's kind of dumb. that guy because he didn't flare. There might be like an AI limitation on how often they can flare. Uh, looks like every other plane on my side except for this cricket got shot down. Okay, this is a really hard mission. It does say you're outnumbered, but this is, uh, like, I can barely even score hits with missiles here. Scissors with me. I can't even see where he is. Okay, when you black out, you black out for a long time. Engine uh, fire. The guy who I shot Left and stall. I have no idea where he went. I 
lost that guy earlier because I couldn't move this camera like fast enough to track him. No, I did get disoriented when he like passed behind me. was not a good idea. Okay, and this time I'm going to try not firing missiles at all at the beginning. We just try to use them in dogfights. I might get a little better performance to try to join this enormous missile strike here. Right engine fire. Stall. I'm not trying to shoot down their missiles. Stall. Hmm. I'm hoping my connect to them. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to make progress on that, and there's still one mission that I want to use, or at least one concept I want to use. I know, as the name suggests, this game has a nuclear weapon somewhere in it, and uh, I don't know if there's a pre-built mission that actually ha has that. Uh, if it was anywhere, you would think it would be in total war. I know in cruise missile interception, uh, you can get hit by a nuclear weapon. But I have no idea if in this mission you can use a nuclear weapon. To inspect it. I guess their this game is built for multiplayer. You can use the right mouse button to move the camera up and down, which is not very useful. Oh, okay, you can select cruise missiles here. Rank required 3.0. I guess that's what the rank means. Okay, so... I guess we're forced to fly the cricket first. So I guess this is the real meat and potatoes that the developer wants you to play. The total war option. So I guess there's 
planning on for putting the progression in here because you have to start off with the cricket and then work your way up by rank before you can use the, the big boy chance. This one comes equipped by default. I didn't change from the defaults. Uh, 50 cal machine guns, with the Hellfires, and that's it. So maybe I could have chosen at least a little bit different than Hellfire. And uh, I wish there was a way to look at the map. Yeah, there is on the keyboard if you press M you get the map which uh, doesn't really show anything okay we have an objective here to capture an airstrip 20 kilometers away I wonder if uh, any other friendly units are actually tasked with targeting airship as well. Or capturing the airship as well, because if I'm doing it by myself, I'm probably going to get shot down by whatever defenses are there. And I imagine to get to like rank 2, rank 3, we're going to have to actually destroy a lot of enemy units first. By the way, it's going to take forever to fly there because I'm using a turboprop. This is very interesting though, because I can see all these other aircraft here. Okay, so there's a TA-30 at 16 kilometers. This is the target airstrip, which is 14 kilometers. I have a feeling this guy's going to try to shoot me down before I get there. Sure what this is targeting. Oh, a cricket on the ground. Yeah, I think it's pretty unlikely I'm going to hit him with these hellfires. Uh, wasn't there a TA-30 somewhere over here? I think the enemy TA-30 was shot down. Yeah, it looks like a cricket on a takeoff roll. Very unlikely to shoot him down with uh, the Hellfire. Possibly I can get him with the 50 cal there. I wonder if I should even try to pursue this kill. Stall. 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 I fired at that Humvee. Stall. But I have no idea if it's going to hit. Stall. Oh, the Humvee is what shot me down. The FGA 57 angle intercepted my Hellfire. Okay, that's not good. Uh, I don't know what else I need to do, or what else I can do, if they have, like, point defense that's shooting down all my missiles. Aircraft. So, uh, I'm 
might be able to take out with Hellfires, but it would be difficult. ourselves to and from the battlefield. Breaker Sam intercepting AGM 68. Yeah, there's units on the ground that are intercepting missiles. So, uh, probably be pretty difficult. getting a little bit of firing solution from these hellfires. Supersonic jet. Uh, this guy is a serious danger for me because I am subsonic. And he's launching missiles at, at someone. At least he's launching them at someone else. missile at me, or a radar missile, but oh, it didn't actually destroy me, it just knocked a wing off. Oh yeah, I am not in good condition here. Uh, I don't think I can make it back to an airstrip. So I've destroyed, uh, like, two ground vehicles here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything done when there's this many uh, interceptors and, like, point defense vehicles there shooting down all my missiles, so. Oh, I can carry double the missiles here. That gives me up to six Hellfires. Okay, well, I've been streaming for about three hours now, so I'm going to call it a day here. Uh, thank you to everyone who showed up, and uh, I might play either this game or another similar indie flight sim game, uh, hopefully tomorrow, maybe in the afternoon. But that's everything for the day, so thank you. Bye.